Good day to everyone. I'm Matt Guantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodon Channel. For today's video, we are somewhere here in Bacoor, Cavite, for us to show you a two grow bed uh, system we installed for our client. So here is a protected uh, rain shelter to protect our seedlings and our fish tanks from the rain. So follow me and let's walk through the parts. So this is our made 1,200 liter capacity fish tank. So this is a conical bottom fish tank. It's designed to deliver the sludge in the center and suction it to the filter from the solid lifting outlet. So inside our fish tank, uh, we have tilapia here. So we have approximately a hundred uh, red tilapia. So they are jumping on the side. We provide them with aeration through, through the air pump on the wall. So the air pump also provides aeration to the other parts of the system, which we'll show you later. So the, the fish will excrete uh, waste if you feed them. And then the waste is lifted through the solid lifting outlet over here. Okay, so the solid lifting outlet then exits to our DuraFlow mini filter. So this is the DuraFlow mini filter. In the middle, we have our radial flow. So that's the radial flow part. And then it, from the radial flow part, it will exit a static media compartment in the middle. And then it will undergo another radial stage uh, for the third stage. And then the last stage is an MBBR. So we mix the old media with the new media to inoculate the system and help it cycle faster. So. From the filter, it will exit to our floating raft. So let's look at the floating raft. So the floating raft grow bed contains 50 uh, lettuce or 50 bed pots per uh, styrofoam raft. And then we have extra here to start our seed lane. So this part also contains our pump. So this floating raft grow bed or deep water culture doubles as our sump. So this is a very small pump. It can power 10 grow beds, but uh, this system is only two, so we have extra uh, pumping power. So in case you need to add more grow beds, you can add more grow beds without increasing the pump capacity. So from the pump, it will exit back to the fish tank through that inlet, and also part of the water is diverted to our gravel bed over here. So the gravel, gravel bed inlet is over there. So we have a sweet basil uh, seedling we transplanted earlier. And then the exit of our uh, gravel bed is through this bell siphon. So this is just a very basic bell siphon. So this is the bell of the bell siphon. And then we have a, our standpipe. So let me see if I can remove the standpipe. So the standpipe determines the level of the water in the gravel bed. So the height of the standpipe will determine uh, the level of the water in the gravel bed. Okay, so let's re 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 replace our standpipe and then our bell, and then the cover. We also added sensors here. So I don't know if you can see the sensor over here. So the sensor uh, determines the TDS or the total dissolved solids. Now we are running at 125 parts per million. The pH of this system is 7.7 .7 to 7.8 and the temperature here is 29 degrees Celsius. So as the system matures, the pH will go down. As nitrification happens, the pH will uh, achieve a, a 6.8 to 7 pH, okay? So it's now overflowing because we topped up the system earlier. So it will reach the equilibrium stage uh, later. Uh, as the as the water is diverted to the gravel bed into the other parts. Again, to recap, we have our fish tank. The fish tank goes to our filter, and then the filter overflows to our sump over here. And then from the sump, the water is pumped to the fish tank, and some of it is diverted to the gravel bed. So that's a split flow system. If you want to learn different types of systems in aquaponics, I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel Madodo and don't forget to 
click the notification bell to get updated on our upcoming future videos. So again, thank you for watching.